Hi guys, Misty here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's episode of Secondhand Sunday, I am going to be taking a thrift store find that my aunt found at a thrift store yesterday while we were having a girls day thrifting. And I'm gonna transform it to suit her decor. So what we found is this great wall sconce, candelabra wall sconce. It's got some great detail on it. This is gonna get painted out. And she, this is suited for taper candles and she doesn't wanna use taper candles on this. So we found these really pretty crystal votive cups that we are going to be putting onto this piece. So she can put either battery operated uh, tea lights or the regular tea, scented tea lights in them. These were a dollar a piece. We purchased three and the sconce was $3.19. So to transform it, we're going to be using Rust-Oleum's two times ultra coverage spray paint in satin black. We're going to be using a product called Rub and Buff. This can be purchased at Michael's and the color is silver. This is um, a gilding paste. And then we're gonna be using some construction adhesive. And when I get to that part of the video, I will show you the brand I will be using in that. So I'm in mom's beautiful backyard today. She's actually in making her wonderful lasagna for our Sunday family dinner. And so I'm going it alone today. And sorry about the voice again, guys. It's still not great. So. Let me move the camera down and we will jump into the DIY. So you're just gonna wanna make sure you shake your spray paint really good. And I'm gonna spray and cover the entire piece. With all the detail on it, you kind of want to make sure to spray it from all angles. So that you get it fully covered. My aunt's home is done in a lot of black and silver. Has a real elegant feel. Sorry about the dogs. As I was saying, my aunt's home has a really elegant feel. So the black with some silver highlights and the crystal votive cups will go perfectly with her decor. I'm gonna let this dry really good and then I'm gonna flip it over and spray the other side just so I can get on the back side of the the cups here and the back side of um, these cute detailed pieces right beneath the cups so let it dry good i'll flip it over and spray it this is only going to need one coat for good coverage and we'll move on to the next step so for our second project in second hand sunday we are going to be taking this burlap bulletin board that mom and I hauled at the Goodwill uh, when we were down in Southern California. And as you can see, I've already taped my stencil to it. It's a really cute bee stencil. And I'm sorry, I don't have the name of the company or anything. I purchased this stencil when we were on vacation in Canada about five years ago. So I've already got it centered and taped to the bulletin board with some painter's tape. And I am just going to take some of this black folk art home decor chalk paint that we have left over, a paper plate to put it on, a stencil brush, and a paper towel to blot the excess off of my brush. And we are going to stencil that bee image onto the burlap 
bulletin board. So we're gonna be doing regular stenciling today. So let me get the camera moved around and the bulletin board placed where you guys will be able to see it. And I will show you how to do some basic stenciling. Okay, so I've got some black chalk paint on my paper plate and I have my paper towel and brush ready. So I'm just gonna lightly kiss the bristles of the stencil brush into the black paint, daub it off onto the paper plate first, and then I daub it onto the paper towel. And then I'm gonna kinda hold the stencil down because this is a padded, upholstered message board and I don't really want any bleed underneath the stencil image, so I'm gonna hold it down, and I'm just going to really take my time and go over each piece of the image, adding paint to my brush and blotting it off as I go and as needed. With the open, um, looser weave on this burlap too, it takes a little bit more paint to actually um, really have it show up visibly on the burlap because it wants to absorb some of the paint into the weave. So I'm just going to patiently take my time and continue blotting over the top while I hold the image down around each letter and piece of the image. Oh, that's looking good. So again, kiss the bristles, pat it off, pat it once again, and move on to my next letter. I absolutely love this bee stencil. We use it an awful lot. This is a piece that's going to be available at one of our upcoming events. So I'm gonna just keep going here a little bit like this and then as I get further along on the image, I'll come back and show you guys a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last of the image here. And I didn't really plan on doing this project for you guys today, but I thought while well, we waited for the spray paint to dry on the candelabra wall sconce, we might as well go ahead and do another project. Sorry for all of the yelling in the background. There are people in the field beyond my parents' house yelling and carrying on. So let me pull the stencil up and we will reveal the image. Oop, I just see that the U on this very first word needs just a little bit more paint. I'm going to dab that on really quick. Well, it still needs a little bit more. It definitely doesn't want to take there. Oh, now the dogs are going to go. I'm going to fill in the U and come back. Alrighty guys, so I have the bulletin board all finished. It's The stencil's done. I will heat set this with the heat gun and it will be ready to take to our events. So let's move on to finishing up our candelabra. Okay, so I have our candelabra wall sconce completely covered with the black satin spray paint. And now I am going to use this silver, silver rub and buff gilding paste to add some detail to the um, well, to add some color to the raised detail that's on the piece, it'll bring it all out. And like I said, it'll go great with my ant's decor. So I'm gonna move the camera down and we'll start applying the rub and buff. So when you open the rub and buff, the lid has this little pointy plastic piece on the inside and your rub and buff is sealed. 
you're going to put the lid on with the pointy side going into that foil seal and you're just going to push down and it opens opens it up and you just want to take a little bit of this and start applying it to the raised detail of the piece I'm taking a little of the excess off and dabbing it over here onto a paper towel. And I'm just basically going over all of the high spots on the detail. And as you can see, a little of this goes a long way. I haven't added any more yet. See how that's looking so far? So just pat a little on your fingers. Sometimes I'll use rubber gloves if I don't want my hands all dirty, but they're really dirty, so. I'm just going to keep applying. It's been such a beautiful day here today that I thought I would work outside. I hope the weather will hold a little bit for the rest of the week because mom and I are gonna be painting a lot of furniture and working on a bunch of projects for our upcoming shows and events. And we will share some of that with you guys as well as we go along. I love being out here with the pond in the background. It's just so relaxing and beautiful. And you can tell that it's getting later in the day and the sun's getting ready to go down because I've heard the frogs kind of start. They will start going nuts here probably within the next 30 to 45 minutes. And it actually sounds like they're in there with megaphones on volume 20 going off. That part isn't quite so tranquil for me. So guys, I'm just gonna keep applying the rub and buff. See how it's looking? It's just taking on a whole new look. I'm gonna finish it off, I'll come back and show you, and then we will adhere those crystal uh, tea light votive cups onto this area here. So I'll be back soon. Alrighty, so I have all of the silver gilding paste applied to the candelabra wall sconce. I think it looks really pretty and it's gonna go so nice with my aunt's decor. She told me that she's been looking online for things similar to this and they are ranging, you know, anywhere from about $49.99 and up into, you know, the $100 area. So I'm really excited to be able to do this transformation for her. So let me prep um, the adhesive and the gun that we use to apply it. And I'm gonna come back on and explain all of that to you. So I just wanted to quickly share with you before I, adhere the uh, crystal tea light cups to the candelabra. I went ahead and sprayed it with some of this Minwax polyacrylic clear sealer. This is in satin. It also comes in matte as well as gloss. And I've already done this part. You spray it on just like spray paint. Thin even coats and let dry in between each coat. I just did one on this because the paint and the gilding paste adheres well to the metal, so I just did a light seal on it. 
So we are hopefully going to be using this uh, liquid nails adhesive. It's a construction adhesive. We like to use this because it has a strong durable hold and once you place it and let your items dry thoroughly, they aren't going anywhere. I'm just really hoping that this is clear and not colored. It isn't specifying on the tube and we just ran out of clear while working on another project the other day. So fingers crossed, I am not gonna have to make a run to Home Depot. So in order to use this type of adhesive that comes in one of these tubes, you need to use one of these guns. These are also known as caulking guns. They use them in construction to apply caulking and sealants around bathtubs, toilets, sinks, all, all kinds of good things. So um, you just push down on this and you can pull this little trigger, well, not a trigger, but this little po post back. And then to open your adhesive, it has this little pointy piece on it that folds in and out on the gun. So you're gonna take it and there's a little indentation here. You're gonna apply that needle into that and push down. And then once you have pierced that and created an opening, you're going to lay your tube into the gun roll it forward so that it's resting against the, this front piece here. And then you're gonna start pulling the trigger until you feel it hitting against the bottom of the tube. There'll be some resistance. And I'm just going to give this a few squeezes and see what color we have here. Well, it's kind of a light gray color. Let me take a look at my crystal cups here. Just gonna see if I can get away with using the gray. I actually think I'm gonna be able to because of the way the cup sits. There's kind of a, an indentation on the bottom of these crystal cups. So um, the way that it goes over the actual cup area that the tapers would have gone into, it's gonna sit nicely. So what I'm gonna do is take and put a thin bead of the adhesive around this inner part of the cup. You could use um, like a two-part epoxy or E6000. I've chosen to use this construction adhesive because these crystal cups, votive cups that we're gonna put on here are quite heavy and once I get them on, like I said, I don't want them going anywhere. I don't want my bead to be too heavy, but I wanna make sure I have enough on there that my cup isn't gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna just smear that around now. This is actually the rubber tip to put over the adhesive after you use it so it doesn't dry out. I'm just using it to pull some of this up that went down in my hole. I 
And I'm going to place my cup. on here and make sure I have it on straight and I'm going to just have to hold this down until it actually the adhesive grabs and starts to hold so I'm going to do this for all three cups and I'll come back and show you the finished product Okay, I have all of the cups adhered to the candelabra, and I'm going to show you what we had to do in order to hold them in place while they dry. But I did want to tell you, when you use a gun like this, after you're finished, you want to push this down and pull back on this and take the pressure off of the tube. Because if you don't, the adhesive will still keep pushing through the nozzle. It'll come out, and even if you put a tip over it, it will push the tip off of this, explode everywhere, and dry out. So they sell these little plastic rubber tips. We're just going to put that over the top and push it down really good. So that it's nice and sealed around there and no air is going to get in and dry out our adhesive. Wipe my mess off of it. And... There you have that. And I'm gonna take the uh, camera off the tripod and I'll show you what we had to rig up in order to um, let those dry. So give me okay, a second. So we just took a two by four and some of these stones my mom has from her garden. And on the other side, it's just a brick with a stone stacked. We adhered these on. It looks crooked because it's actually the, of the way it's sitting between the stones. And we've taped these on with some painter's tape just to hold them in place while the adhesive dries. So the adhesive dries uh, within about 20 minutes and then of course we'll let it dry for 24 hours before we put it into use. And as soon as this is all set up and I take the tape off, I will place our two pieces that we made over today and show you how they turned out. Okay guys, this is how our makeovers turned out. So we have our bulletin board and the candelabra wall sconce that we added the crystal votive cups to. I think it turned out really pretty. I think my aunt is going to be happy with it. Looks like we might have it hanging a little crooked. We just put it, rigged it up with a zip tie just so we could show you guys. We left the um, protective corners on the bulletin board because we're going to store it until our next show. So we didn't want to remove those until then so that we can keep it nice. But that is how things came together today. So thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Secondhand Sunday. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here and you'd like to follow along, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.